What's up, folks? Monster here with another unboxing. Hopefully you guys uh, aren't getting me blaring through your ears. I'm using my Astros this time. I usually use the camera on my uh, webcam, but that gets a little uh, shaky. So anyway, um, I'm here with another unboxing. Hopefully you guys are going to enjoy this one. It's, uh, it's a nice little package from Microsoft. I know some really cool people over there, and um, I guess they appreciate the fact that I, uh, I support them so much. You know, I tend to spend <laughs> all my money on uh, Microsoft collectibles, whether it's, uh, you know, Xbox games or merchandise or toys or whatever the hell. And uh, every now and then, you know, they throw me a little thank you. They appreciate my support. I appreciate their support in my collecting adventures. So uh, here we go, man. Supposedly, there's supposed to be an item in here that there's only one or two in the world of, or maybe up to five or something like that. But I was told that there's probably only uh, two of them in existence. So definitely psyched for one of the items in here. I'm not exactly sure which item in here is um, so collectible, but we'll go over that last. Now, this little case is filled with goodies. I'm not even going to show you guys this case until the end. I'm just going to kind of lay this off to the side real quick we'll go over what else is in here first <clears throat> all right we have a shirt here it's a pretty dope shirt i've seen this shirt before um this is the comic-con shirt i'm pretty sure that was released at comic-con for 2015 in san diego I i'm not positive but i'm pretty sure that's what it is uh it looks like a bunch of entrails and sloppy kind of uh locusty swarmy kind of things with you know the phoenix omen down there at the bottom um i'm not going to open this because um, it is, for me, it's a collectible. I collect things. Uh, I don't open things and wear them because I would just ruin this anyway because it's fucking white. But anyway, um, I do have a couple of these. This isn't the first one I've gotten. This was such an awesome shirt. I had to go buy one right in the beginning, but this is great. I'm not getting rid of this. I'm definitely glad to have two of them now. So uh, it's pretty dope. Thank you very much for the shirt. Uh, next, we'll get into the case that I was talking about. Now, I'm assuming the case itself is the um, item that there's only two of in the world because I've never seen another Gears of War Ultimate case. So we'll just hold this up to uh, the camera a little bit. I'm pretty sure this is, I guess, almost like a controller case. I would say that this is maybe the prototype for the Elite controller case. It looks about the size of an Elite controller. Uh, I, I believe there's not a controller in here because I, I, you know, I, I kind of peeked inside when I tore a little hole in the bag when I got this. I kind of like unzipped this as best I could. But um, yeah, like I said, I peeked inside, so there's no controller inside. But this stuff is this thing is filled with stuff. So let's open this bitch up and see what it is. Um, it looks like right on top. Oh, we have um, like a necklace or pendant or whatever you want to call it. Oh, this is cool. This is I guess this is like a friendship kind of thing. I've never seen this. This is a crimson omen. This seems to be split in half, and it looks like you could actually give half to one of your buddies and uh, keep half. I guess this is like a a brothers to the end concept. This is pretty fucking dope, man. Um. I don't know if this is going to come out, or maybe this was the limited item that he was talking about. There's only a couple of, but this is fucking dope. I hopefully, uh, I hope that you guys get a chance to get a hold of one of these, because this thing looks cool as fuck. It's pretty shiny. It's um, It's got a nice crimson omen on it. And like I said, it's like a brothers to the end kind of thing, man. Like a friendship kind of thing, where you separate it and give half to half. Half, uh, half to each person. That's dope. Love it. <clears throat> um, next, we have a gold pin. It looks like we actually have a couple of these gold Lancer pins. Oh, that's dope as hell, man. I smell a giveaway. So uh, I'll definitely uh, be trying to give one of these away. This is pretty cool. I actually have one of these. I want to buy one on eBay because I get kind of scared when I see these things and I don't uh, actually know if I'm going to get my hands on one. So do I have a few of these, man? So what I'll do is I'll keep these two gifts and I'll give away the one I bought. So look out for a giveaway. <laughs> Uh, next, we have uh, this Horde 3.0 pin. This is pretty dope. I had wanted one of these. I don't know if I had one of these already. Like I said, I tend to see these things on eBay and fucking snatch them before I uh, miss out. So I might have another one of these. I have to check. If I do have another one of these, I'll keep the gift and I'll definitely give away the one that I bought because, you know, you got to spread the love, right? So that's that. Oh, let me hold that up just in case you guys didn't see it. It's Horde 3.0 pin. It's pretty dope. You guys have all seen the symbol if you played Horde. <laughs> Uh, moving on, this is actually exactly what I wanted, uh, the, the Run the Jewels pin. I have been searching for this on uh, on eBay, and I just haven't wanted to pay the money for it. Um, I did find one somewhat recent, which was about 20 bucks, and I was about to pull the trigger, but I knew this little package was coming, so I kind of, you know, waited. And I'm really glad that I did, because this would have been at least a $20 purchase, and this will complete the... Um, the poster set that I have, I have a, a poster that's signed by them somewhere. It, it, I don't even think it's their artwork or anything, just some random poster I bought from... Uh, from eBay when they were actually at the store signing autographs at that uh, at that one store. I forget the name of the store, but um, yeah, man, cool. So this will go as a set. That's dope. Run the Jewels pin set. Pretty dope. Uh, next, we have the other Lancer pins that were from... I want to say that these were from... Not E3. Fuck, where were these from? These were from... What the hell goes on in Boston? PAX. So this is actually when I met some of these amazing people from the Coalition of Microsoft. Um, this this pen, I believe, was uh, pin was being given out, I think. So I was able to acquire one of these on eBay as well. So this is pretty dope. I got two more now. So I'm definitely going to give away mine and, and keep the gifts. I don't ever give away gifts, but um, I don't mind giving away the one that I bought. So we'll definitely uh, definitely be doing a giveaway soon. <clears throat> um, next, I have a little, um, I want to say it's a little crimson omen pin that looks like it would go on the edge of a backpack or something like that. 
So that, that thing's pretty tiny. Looks like it's made out of like aluminum or tin or whatnot. So that's pretty cool. I won't be hanging that on anything because this thing will get fucking lost the very same night. But that's pretty cool. A little crimson omen pin or, or hookup. Uh, nice little uh, crimson omen patch. That's pretty cool. Um, I don't do patches, but if I do, um, you know, I'll definitely iron this onto my backpack. You know, I take a backpack with me to Comic-Con every year. So, you know, that would definitely uh, go on the backpack. Um, looks like I got another one of these little aluminum jammies. These, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, these little crimson omen uh, hookups. So that's pretty cool. I'll keep that, though. I'm not giving that away. I don't have a third one of them. Um, here's a Gears lanyard. I do already have one of these, so this is pretty cool. Uh, it's nice to always have two of everything. I can uh, wear one at the next show, give one to the wife, so that's pretty cool. Gears of War uh, lanyard. These are cool. Moving on, we have another Gears patch. That's pretty dope. <clears throat> Love me some patches. Definitely collect everything and anything Gears. It's pretty cool. And uh, yes, like I said, this, this was actually a prototype for the Elite controller. You can look inside there, and there we go. You can see where all the attachments would have fit in. I guess this was their original design concept for the Elite controller. Like I said, um, this is pretty fucking dope. Uh, I don't, I don't know what I'm gonna do with this, man. I'm gonna definitely try to protect the, uh, the front of it or whatever, so I don't damage it. It's, uh, it's definitely damageable, but it's, it's in great fucking shape. And if there are only two of these in existence, this is probably like one of the holy grails in my collection, next to uh, maybe that black tusk controller that I have up on the shelf there. That thing's pretty fucking dope too. But, um, you know, listen, this, this was a great little bundle. Um, Thank you to everyone over at Microsoft and the Coalition. Uh, I'm not going to go into detail about specifically who sent this to me because I don't want the, the person to get bothered by anybody or harassed for free shit. But um, I do appreciate you. Thank you very much. Um, I, I can't wait until I can hang out with the Coalition or anybody from Microsoft again. Love to make it out to another convention or event soon. Uh, don't know when or, or what that'll be, but hopefully there's uh, maybe one of, the, one of the tournaments will be on the East Coast in New York soon. So maybe I'll try to uh, head out to that. But anyway, this has been Monster with another unboxing. Please like, comment, subscribe. Hit me up with any questions. Say anything. Comment. Ask me. Dude, seriously, anything. Um, And give me any uh, suggestions on how I can uh, make my videos better. You know, I don't have, like, a green screen. I don't do video editing. I just kind of throw it up, and that's what you get. So hopefully you guys have enjoyed. This is Monster. Take care. Have a good one. Peace.